Hello and welcome to Hop Along Studio. So in today's video, I wanted to show you how you can use just a few materials to create a really fun art journaling page. For the materials this week, we're going to be using the Until We Eat Again collection from Well Whisper Designs. So let's get started. So let's start by talking about the paper that we'll be using today. I love this collection, Until We Eat Again, that Jen created. As she's a wonderful designer and I absolutely love her work. I love the colors of this paper as well as this, the fun words and sayings in them. So for this art journaling page, we're gonna be using the hangry page uh, because I wanted to talk a little bit about like my own hangriness in life. And uh, if you're interested in seeing what else is included in this paper collection, I did do a little unboxing video earlier this week just to show you some of the new things I got from Wild Whisper Designs that I wanted to share with you. So for this particular project I'm using a Bristol paper journal that is eight and a half by 12 inches because I thought that would actually use this paper really nicely in this because it's 12 inches I can just cut down the one side and then I have the size that I want. So to cut this paper I'm just using my paper trimmer cutting to eight and a half inches. I'm actually just gonna to touch past eight and a half inches. I can always trim this down in my journal, but if I'm short, it's not going to necessarily work. And I'm going to just remove that bottom strip. So to add this to my journal, I'm just going to be using some sequin tape. I like using this type of tape for just adding pages into my journal. You could really use anything. You could use a glue stick. You could use some sort of medium, like matte medium. Uh, there's a lot of different things you can use to adhere things into your journal because I'm not adding a lot of paint or anything else on top of this. I can just use a regular adhesive because I don't have to worry about adding a lot of wet mediums to this where maybe I'd maybe have some trouble. So you basically just want to flip this over and add it straight into your journal. Try to add these really squarely. Usually what I try to do is just flip the journal on its side. Line it up very carefully on these two edges. And then that should work. There we go. And so you already have a really nice surface to start working off of. So after adhering that, I'm going to lay my journal flat. And one of the reasons I did the page on the left hand side is I do have a lot of texture in my journal so far. And because I'm not adding stamping or anything onto this, what's nice about it is I don't have to worry about having a really even surface. So it's something to think about when you're creating your journal pages. If you have something that has a lot of thickness or an uneven thickness, choose materials or whatever that will work better with that instead of having something that you might not get a good stamped image or might be harder to write on. So I have a circlet Nicole Wright Design stencil from Well Whisper and I just want to add a little bit of ink texture to the background of this journal page. I really love the texture that's already on the page but sometimes it's fun just to add a little bit more. So I'm going to start by adding a little bit of picket fence. I'm not too sure how this is going to turn out so I'm going to just add a little bit and see if it actually really makes a difference or if you even notice it. No, it's pretty much impossible to see so all right so in this case I'm going to take the circlet stencil and add some hickory smoke to it um, hickory smoke distress oxide ink and I want to add it a little bit over top of the writing that is already on this page because I don't want it to be just a chunk of color I want it to be very organic and by overlapping on top of where you already have writing but it's not actually obscuring the writing can add some really interesting texture to your page and what I love about the stencil is it does allow you to go past to the end because it doesn't have a very flat edge and so I just want to bring the eye down this way so I'm just going to just add a little bit more on the edges here And I particularly wanted to use the Distress Oxide inks for this because it is a little bit more opaque and will stand up nicely to this paper. And so I think I want to put a little bit more right in here. I didn't go back into my ink pack so I wanted it to be a little bit lighter. 
But I think that adds just a little touch of something onto this page. I already feel like this has a lot of texture, so I don't want to go too crazy, uh, but I want to just add a little bit of something. What really inspired this page was not only just the hangry paper, but also the ephemera pack. They have tons of ephemera, and I've already chosen some pieces that I wanted to use in this layout. And so there's like little like hamburger bags and pizza boxes and drinks and even like little little comments like this with wine bottles and everything else. I love this particular collection. I love the colors that Jen chose to use for this collection and I'm just going to spend a little bit of time arranging these pieces and then coming up with my design so I can start adhering them to the page. I like trying to kind of arrange my pieces before I adhere anything down just to make sure I'm really happy with the design and where things are falling. So I might be wondering why the deal with the hangry like why am I talking about hangry and and one of those reasons is I really like doing a lot of really complex art journaling pages and creative journaling pages but sometimes it's nice to simplify and I have all of these fun papers and all these things I pick up because I just love paper I as much as I love paint and everything else uh, paper is kind of a happy place for me I've always been a bit of a stationary nut I've always enjoyed having really great imagery on things that I use. Like I love beautiful journals. Uh, it's one of those those things that, you know, we all have the our little things that we enjoy. And for me, paper embellishments and beautiful paper is one of them. And sometimes I love going crazy with my art journaling layouts, but sometimes it can be a bit overwhelming, I think, especially if you're starting in. So I really wanted to show you something simple. I want to show you something that you could do in a few minutes and come up with some really kind of cute ideas for adding your journaling in. And in this case, I'm actually going to be spending some time journaling about my hangriness. The reason I wanted to bring up the whole hangry thing is I want to talk about my own experience with, with the hangriness. And some of this came from a time where I wasn't always taking very good care of myself. And one thing I've realized is just how much my mood is affected by food. I can be having a great time and all of a sudden I start feeling hungry and my blood sugar starts dropping. And then all of a sudden I go from like everything's awesome to like get me out of here. I'm not doing okay. And I've really realized that about myself. And the, the power of that is realizing I can control this. I might not control a lot of things, but I can control how I handle my eating in a way that I can stay engaged and connected to people. So often if I'm going over to someone's place to hang out, I'll often have a snack before. I carry granola bars in my purse all the time. It's one of those things that I've realized that if I wanted to stay in a healthy place and maintain healthy relationships and be able to take care of myself and others, I do need to realize what my body is telling me. And one thing I've realized too is how often those moods and those feelings can be a reason why I'm feeling down or sad. One thing I do when I'm feeling sad is I often ask myself, am I hungry, angry, lonely, or tired? Because often it isn't that I'm really upset about the situation or about anything. I'm just feeling sad and off because I'm not feeling well. And it's taking that time to to really evaluate like where are these emotions coming from? Why am I feeling this way? And for me often it's because I am hungry and it might seem like such a small thing but it can be the difference between being really engaged with people and feeling good about the situation you're in or feeling like all you wanna do is get away. And I think there's a lot of power of just taking care of your body and taking care of yourself. And instead of going crazy judging yourself or judging, well, why don't I feel good? Well, there's something wrong with me. Well, no, it might be just you're hungry. It could be you're tired. You just need that rest. And that rest can be enough for you to be able to get back to a place where you are good, where you can engage with people. And you can just be a, a loving person and show love to others. And sometimes all it is is you're hangry. <laughs> And so I was going to take a few minutes to do a little bit of writing in my journal and to talk about how this process that I've been learning about myself and how I relate to, to these emotions related to food. I feel like sometimes a lot of my journal pages are, are quite heavy, I guess. I talk about, I think about a lot of like more serious things or it's a way for me to process things I'm working through. But sometimes it's good to think about like some of these kind of fun things where you can use some fun embellishments and write down some thoughts that you have about like hangriness or about 
these things you experience and, and realizing that they're just part of who you are and to embrace who you are and not judge yourself for it. So I can decide which paint pen to use on this page. So I use three of them. I use my Posca paint pens. I have a couple metallics and this beautiful blue and I've used them on my page. And if you're interested in learning how to use paint pens in your creative practice, I did do a video last week about some comparison of some of my favorite paint pens. So speaking of self-care, I hope we take time for creative self-care this week. If you're looking for more ideas on how to have a creative self-care habit in your own life, please check out my website, hopalongstudio.com. If you are interested in any of the papers I, that I used for this project, you can check out wellwhisperdesigns.com. You can find this collection on their website. If you use DT Nadine at checkout, you will get 10% off of your order. I hope that you have a really great week and that you take time for self-care. I'll see you next time.